Hi everyone, some of you have been asking about MCP and how to set it up, so I decided to make a video about it. Now, fair warning, this one is going to be a bit more techy than usual. So if you're here for AI news or a general overview, this might not be for you. But if you want to learn how to run your own MCP server, not just to create apps with it, but also to do code exploration and all sorts of cool stuff, then stick around. I will walk you through the whole process, step by step, from getting your own server up and running, to playing around with it, and deploying apps locally. So no worries, by the end of this video, you will be doing some amazing things. By the way, if you've been using tools like Cursor or Windsurf, well, you might not need them anymore. But don't just take my word for it, let's have a look together. All right, before we jump in, let me quickly remind you what MCP is and why it's such a big deal. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. It's an open source protocol developed by Anthropic, originally designed for cloud. What it does is pretty amazing. It lets you connect cloud to your tools, your IDE, your local environment, basically anything. And the result? You can get an AI that can see everything, your code base, your folder structure, even your database. So let's get your MCP server up and running. First off, MCP was developed by Anthropic. So you can find all the documentation in their website. You can go and check the whole documentation, how it's built, how it works, or you can just go directly into the MCP in cloud desktop, which is where we are going to take in a look today. And following the instructions is actually pretty easy, but this basic setup gives you only access to the basic stuff. So I did some research and found something even better. And it's this awesome package. It's called Desktop Commander, MCP, and was developed by these folks here. And it basically gives you a pre-configured MCP server with a ton of extra features. But the best part is that it is super easy to use. You don't have to set up anything up yourself. They have done all the work for you. So today I will show you how to get MCP working using this package because it's by far the easiest way to get started. So now let's see how to install it. So there are different methods, the different options to do it, but we are going to take a look at Smithery because I think it's the easiest one among. And when you're here, actually the only thing you need to do is to copy this and paste it into your terminal. I will drop all the links in the description below. But before installing the package, just make sure you have Cloud Desktop and Node.js installed. To install Node on Mac, OS, just open the terminal and run the following. Brew install Node. I have already installed it, so it works pretty quickly. Now, make sure you have Cloud Desktop also installed. Now, let's go back to Smithery. Let's copy this thing, let's paste it, and Let's download it. So I already downloaded it before, so it was pretty fast. But the first time you download it, you have to answer if you want to share some anonymous data with Smithery. And then if you want to restart Cloud Desktop. So please say yes. So the app restarts. And when you go back to it, you will see this little hammer with a 20 on it. It might take some time. Now, click on it. and. Boom, here are all your MCP tools. The package we install has already been configured inside Cloud. You don't have to do anything else. It's already working. Now, look at this. You've got access to directory creation and block editing and executing commands, which is amazing. You can also for terminate, kill processes. There's a bunch of things you can do with this package. Basically, you can run any app on your machine, even long running tasks like compressing files or rendering videos. And that's something Cursor and Windsurf can really handle. All right, let's give this thing a ride. One super useful thing you can do with this MCP is exploring applications you have never worked with before. Maybe you inherited a project or you want to customize something, but no one knows how it works the classic dev problem. So instead of manually digging through everything, you can just ask Cloud to explain it to you. Now, let me ask Cloud to explain me an old favorite 
Kanban board. Maybe you know it. It's an open source Kanban board you can run locally. It's stable, feature complete, but no longer under active development. Perfect for this test. So here's what I do. First, I need to give Claude the path to the application. Here you go. Then I will use Super Whisper for prompting because for some reason, Cloud Desktop doesn't support speech to text yet, which is such a fundamental feature. So please, Anthropic, we need this. But anyway, here's the prompt I use. Here is a code repository. Please go ahead and explore it and then create high-level diagrams using mermaid.js that explain how the application works, what it does, how it does, and where do I find everything. Please ignore the databases and data schemas. Let's hit enter. Now, why am I asking it to skip the database? Because while preparing the video, I kept getting network errors. I suspect it's because due to cloud limited context window, I am using the free version, but I had similar problems when I was using the pro version, but it could be something else. So guys, this is where things start feel like magic. I mean, seriously, look at this. I don't know about you guys, but this blows my mind. What a time to be alive. So now let's check what it does. First, the architecture overview. This is super cool. I can see the back end, the front end, and the data storage. So very simple. The directory structure, let me take a look at it, make it a little bit bigger. And very cool. Easy as well. The user workflow, oh, this is interesting. So you get to see Everything here, this looks very cool. Now, the request flow or API flow. This is also super useful. And you get also an explanation of what it does. Again, the repository structure, how it works and the key components. And you could keep iterating, learning more about the application, even though you have never met any of the developers. And honestly, with MCP, once it understands your code base, you can ask it to make changes, add features, or build on top of it without having to explain everything again. And that's the real magic of the context model protocol. All right, now let's have some fun. I wanted to try creating a full app from scratch using MCP, something not too simple, but also not rocket science. So I was thinking, what would my two-year-old son enjoy? So I came up with the idea, a puzzle generator. The idea is pretty simple. It is a browser app where you can upload a picture, split it into puzzle pieces, and drag them into place. He loves puzzling, and while I'm not gonna put him in front of a computer yet, this seems like a fun project. First, I will tell Claude where to develop the app. So this time I'm doing it on the desktop, not a best practice. I want to create a new project in the folder above. The project is called Puzzle Generator. It should be a self-contained web app that I can open in Safari. The app lets me load an image, split it into puzzle pieces automatically, and allows me to play the puzzle in the browser by dragging the pieces to the correct position. Please create a new folder with the project, implement the web app using plain HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and include a basic UI to load an image and reset the puzzle. Finally, open the index.html file in Safari once it's created. Now let's hit enter and let it do the magic. So I don't know why I didn't get this worrying before because actually I have to allow MCP every time it wants to access my machine. So allow for this chat. 
So, very cool. Now let's create the necessary files for the puzzle generation. So it's doing the HTML file. It's asking again. Now it's creating a CSS file. Okay. Okay. Now JavaScript. So. <laughs> I love this thing, right? Okay, I need to allow it again. Let's do that. Okay. So now it actually happened in Safari. In another window, I'm going to show you that. Cloud just created a complete app, created all the files necessary for this app to work, and launched Safari. And let's see how it works. So this is the puzzle generator. This is so crazy. So choose a file. Okay. I'm going to choose this guy over here. Upload. Okay. This is brownie, by the way. But. How does it work? Okay. I don't see the... Oh. This seems to be in the right place. And I guess... Well, this is... But what happened with the image below? So I think I've lost... Some of the images, right? Even though this is super cool. I'm not sure this is working in the right way. So, no. So, I'm missing pieces. I'm definitely missing pieces that are now below brownie. But you could iterate over it. So I could go back to Claude and ask it to solve this problem. You know, like the kind of byte coding thing. But I'm not going to do it in this video because I don't know what problems we were going to open with it. Sometimes it's just a Pandora box. But it is so crazy that... MCP with Claude was actually able to use my machine to create it. And do not concentrate on this result because this is all right. I mean, O3 Mini High would have probably done a better job, but it's extremely cool to see these kind of things happening. So in short, MCP writes the files, run the commands, even opens the app, and then you can continue tweaking, customizing and improving from there. Whether you're an experienced developer or more of a byte coder, this lets you go way faster and you learn a lot just by watching it build. And if you want, you can just ask Cloud to push it to GitHub. It will do it because it can run commands on your terminal. It is truly 
amazing. So yeah, that's MCP in action. A local AI agent that can understand your code, create software, edit it, and basically do anything on your machine. It is mind blowing. So here are my final thoughts. I love using Cloud, but personally, I still prefer Gemini 2.5 Pro or OpenAI's O3 Mini Hive. Those models are just insane. And OpenAI has already added MCP support to their agent SDK, and they've said it's coming to the desktop app as well. So I'm pretty excited for that. As for Google, we don't know yet. I really hope they jump on board. And here is the thing. Imagine all this with massive context windows. Gemini alone has 1 million token window and the newly released Llama 4 has a 10 million token window, which is nuts if that model wouldn't suck. Actually, I was playing a video comparing Llama 4 to Gemini 2.5 Pro, but it is so much worse that I just stopped. But let's stay on track and just imagine that. You could analyze massive code bases like enterprise scale. If the models get better, and believe me, they will, this whole workflow becomes unstoppable. So go out there and build something amazing. Finish that job that you have been procrastinating. You've got the tools, you've got the power. Go and build. As always, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, do not forget to give it a like and subscribe. See you in the next one.